This video will show you how to use the Dialog System add-on for OpenAI to set up runtime conversations that let the player reply using freeform text input. The final result will look like this. What do you need to know? The scenario is that you're looking for the mayor's kidnapped daughter. She's being held captive by the snake cult beneath the ruins of the Temple of Asmodon. But be warned, they don't take kindly to uninvited guests. Unfortunately, she is not safe. The snake cult has her as a prisoner in their lair beneath the ruins of the Temple of Asmodon. Rumor has it that they perform human sacrifices under the blood moon. Rescue the mayor's daughter, eh? That's a dangerous game you're playing. But if you're set on it, I might be able to help. What do you need to know? The add-on also lets you generate complete, menu-driven conversations at runtime, as well as NPC-to-NPC -NPC conversations. But this video goes over the freeform text input mode. We start with a scene in which we've imported an environment, the Unity Multipurpose Avatar, or UMA, and an UMA character, the dialogue system, and the add-on for OpenAI. I've also imported Salsa Lip Sync Suite and the Salsa one-click package for UMA. The scene also has a dialogue manager and a starter database with two characters, Player and Gareth. This is the player's background information. And this is Gareth's background info. These descriptions provide context for OpenAI to generate dialogue. Note that you can include var tags to include variable values in the description. This will allow descriptions to change as the game progresses and the variable values change. The first step is to select a voice for Gareth. We'll choose Anthony. Hello world. Next, set up the dialog UI for runtime conversations. To do this, you'll need to add some UI elements a wait icon that will appear when the conversation is waiting for a response from OpenAI, and this one has a simple animation, and a goodbye button to end the conversation. We'll also make use of the dialog UI's text field UI. Then add a runtime AI conversation settings component to the dialog UI. Assign the UI elements and your API keys. On Gareth's game object, set up Salsa by selecting Game Object, Crazy Minnow Studio, Salsa Lip Sync, One Clicks, Uma DCS. We don't need him to play the Salsa demo clip, so remove that. Then add a dialog actor and set it to Gareth. Add a dialogue actor to the player too. To set up the conversation, add a runtime AI conversation component to the scene. Set the participants, specify the topic of the conversation, and set the mode to freeform text input. The text input prompt is what will appear in the text field UI when the player can enter a reply. To kick off the conversation in this tutorial, we'll use a timed event component. Set duration to 1 and configure the event to call the runtime AI conversations play method. When we're done, this is what it looks like. 
The dialogue system has speech recognition integrations, so you could set this up to be entirely hands-free. What do you need to know? But in this one, we just let the player type whatever they want. Yes, I do. Why do you ask? She's being held captive by the snake cult beneath the ruins of the Temple of Asmodon. But be warned, they're known to perform human sacrifices under the Blood Moon.